Radio. Welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 21st of January. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you and leave behind anything else. So from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy is card 16, life experience. This is lovely. This is about positive changes now. This is about you making those positive changes, learning from the past and taking all those pearls of wisdom, all that really helpful information with you on your next steps forward. And on the card here, look, the sand castle that she was building has washed away, but she's taking from that everything she's learned. She's got these little pearls of wisdom and she's moving forward and making positive changes. And that's just what you're doing this week. Your help or your hurdle, the two of teacups, is about conversations, discussions, talking things over, and really reminding you to be absolutely clear in your communication with others. So it's speaking and listening and really clear communication. So talking things over, discussions, conversations, be absolutely clear and make sure you clearly understand the other person as well. What do we need to focus on? Part 20, how well you're doing, how far you've come and where to next. This is all about this reflection card here, look. Now, she's put down the little rucksack. She's having a rest and uh, she's having a pot of tea and a slice of cake. Always good. And she's reflecting, taking a time, realising how far she's come. But her sights are set on this little signpost here that says climb to new heights. She's already working out where to next. And it's lovely that it's fallen next to this positive changes card. So the next part of the reading is how can we help ourselves? The Ace of Pencils shows up with new information and clarity. So this could perhaps come in the form of news or something that you haven't known in the past and the final jigsaw piece falls into place. This is suddenly hitting the bullseye. So in the past, if you've not quite been so sure, things have felt a little bit uh, vague, not absolutely certain, the Ace of Pencils comes in and says, here you are, here's the clarity, and here are the new ideas. Pulling it all together, the Ego card is about you leaving behind anything that's weighing you down and holding you back. So it could be... Um, lack of confidence, it could be self-sabotage, it could be guilt, fear, somebody else's negativity. On the card, look, she's put all those in a basket here. She's leaving them behind because she's picked up the balloons just so much lighter. And look, they're taking her along the road, which is open and clear in front of her. And those balloons, I don't know whether you can see, are full of self-belief, confidence, positivity, optimism, and love. So very much an energy here of you leaving that behind, leaving something behind that isn't working and moving on. And this lovely feeling, this lovely energy of new start, moving on, old doors closing, new doors opening, as featured right across the readings this week. So your outcome card, we've got messages, we've got information coming in. This is the page of teacups. So this could be initially the start of a lovely new friendship, the start of something new. But generally, these are messages of appreciation, of love. All of the pages bring in a message. They all have an envelope on the drawing. So... Thank yous, being appreciated. Yes, thank you very much. Um, that's really helpful. That sort of information and 
um, those sorts of messages coming in this week. So really pay attention for those and enjoy them when they come through. So just looking at your tarot cards, a week of positive changes and moving on from the past in a new direction, but taking all your experience, pearls of wisdom with you. Clear communication, discussions, conversations, being absolutely certain that you each understand one another. And where to next? That needs to be one of your questions to yourself this week. Where to next? Because new ideas are coming in. Clarity is coming in. New information from somewhere which can really, really help you. And then here you go. It's old door closing time, leaving all this lot behind. You don't need that anymore. And really being appreciated for everything you do, all that you are, and all the help and love and support that you give to one or other people as well. So let's get a little bit more information. I'm using my Time to Shine deck. So I'm just going to choose uh, six more cards. And we're just going to add a little bit more help, guidance and information for you. So here we go. With the Life Experience card, you've got the Seven of Life card. No need to worry. Everything's going to work out in divine and appropriate timing, but you need to do the groundwork. You need to plant the seeds. That's just what she's done here, look. She's planted these little seeds. Now, she can't make them grow any faster. So all she's got to do is visualise the flowers that she's hoping to get and then just water the plants, just wait. She doesn't worry. She knows that they're already growing and that success will come further down the road. Your help or your hurdle? This is lovely help. Ten of life, financial security, um, quality time spent with family. This is very family focused, very home focused. It's a card of security, peace of mind. Um, very much appreciating the little things, which we all know are really the big things. So quality family time, um, a focus on family security, perhaps even on family finances. What do you need to focus on? Staying determined. Now, this is lovely because we were talking about not worrying, doing your homework, doing the groundwork. And this card here says, keep going, stay motivated, stay on track, be persistent and keep moving forward. The ten of action comes in in the how can we help ourselves part of the reading. This is lovely. This says the difficult times are over with. The stressful times are over with. It's time for you to put down all those heavy weights that you've been carrying, which is here. Look, she's put them down. She's having a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit and just putting her feet up. She's reading a book saying, time to relax. Regathering her energies, regathering her focus, and then she's ready for what? Where to next? So very much an energy here of just uh, step back, take your time, re-energize, regather your energy and your enthusiasm. The two of life in the pulling it all together part of the reading is about balance. Balanced finances. Now we were talking about finances here. So focus on getting your finances in balance, getting work life in balance. How much time do you spend giving to other people? Make sure you take some time out just for you. It also says you might have more than one option to choose from. So choose wisely. But balance is key. Just make sure that you're straight down the middle and neither extreme. And this is lovely, your final outcome card. It's a double message. The one of thought in this deck is the 
ace of pencils in traditional tarot, in my tarot deck, my teacup tarot deck. This is about clarity coming in, information coming in. This is about you keeping going and learning what works and learning what doesn't work and moving forward with the things that are working. And the drawing on the card, look, she's taken her first shot at goal and it's gone right over the top. But she's going to keep practising. And soon the ball will be in the net every time. And that's the clarity coming in for you this week. A real strong energy of news clarity. Sometimes just that last bit of information that you've been waiting for. So you really need to be awake and alert for that. So looking at your reading overall, positive changes. Know that success will come in divine and appropriate timing. Really clear communication and discussions with others, especially with family. Make sure that you clearly understand one another, that you listen as well as speak and you have a real clear understanding. Where to next? And staying motivated, stay determined, stay persistent, keep moving forward. Know that the difficult times are over with. There is new information coming in to help you. New ideas, new clarity. I do feel this week, looking at your reading, that there's a real light bulb moment coming and you'll go, I didn't know that. That's just what I need to know. Definitely an energy of moving on and leaving heavy stuff, things that have been weighing you down for a while, leaving that behind. And that could well come with this news and this new information. And the page of teacups is beautiful. This is really positive information. <clears throat> this is you being appreciated. This is love, joy, happiness and optimism showing up for you. So make sure you do your mindfulness homework. Really do communicate clearly. Think it through carefully. And be ready to make those wonderful positive changes for you and get moving in this wonderful new direction. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. It really does make a positive difference when you click that button to subscribe. It is free. So thank you for doing that. So have a lovely week. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you here again soon.